Amber and Dylan's love story has been one of enduring commitment, loyalty, and deep trust, which has grown and strengthened over the years. Most of you know their love story, but for the few of you that don't know the whole story, don't worry, I'm here to tell you all about it. My wife and I were there to witness it a little over 10 years ago as parents to a uh, to take prom pictures of all of our daughters and sons because they were all looking so awesome. Here they were, a couple of 17-year-olds, Amber looking beautiful in her blue dress, and Dylan looking dashing in his black tuxedo and matching blue vest. They had no cares, responsibilities, or any idea that saying yes to a prom proposal would lead to a real marriage proposal 10 years later. You look beautiful. <laughs> Amber, 10 years ago, we went on our first day to your prom and our story began. Over the next 10 years, we spent the time finding out about ourselves and each other. We grew and learned together and found that we have many similar beliefs and hobbies. I saw how we complimented each other and how we made each other happy every day. This ensured me that you were the one for me. <laughs> you don't <think> it's <laughs> At 17, I had no idea that the cute, shy boy who found the courage to ask me to prom would turn out to be my best friend, my person, and my husband. And now we are finally here, surrounded by the people we love, making this commitment to each other for the rest of our lives. And let's be honest, throwing a really awesome party. <laughs> Although 10 years seems like a long time, we tested our bond and are ever stronger because of it. In our life, you've been my crush, my boyfriend, my fiance, my dog dad, my best friend. But tonight, I finally get to call you my husband, and I am excited to fall even more in love with you in this new title. You are my best friend, number one fan, future wife. I cannot believe the day is finally here. I can't wait to grow old with you, even though I already feel old. And while I hope our future is full of laughter, love, kids, dogs, family, and friends, which sounds perfect, I know every moment won't be and there will be good times and bad. But as long as I have you, I know we will get through it all. You're already the best dog dad to Bugs, and I'm excited to one day see you as a dad to our future children, helping me raise them and to have kind hearts and big dreams, just like their dad. I vow to always be your best friend and number one fan, to love you more every day, to admire and adore you, and all the things that make you wonderful. Dylan, I promise to love you and support you through all of life's adventures, even if that means risky, dirty, and expensive new hobbies. I promise to be your partner and teammate in every sense of the word, and to stand by your side through thick and thin, even when the Chiefs lose. I promise to always be your most reliable teammate in this game of life, and to be the Kelsey to your Mahomes, and never forget to celebrate our wins with a little victory dance. I vow to create a household and raise children with you as partners and equals and teach our kids what our parents taught us. I promise to remain by your side as we grow old, eating early dinners and having a hard time hearing each other, even if I already do that. I can't wait to see what the future holds for us, for everything we have already done and everything we get to do, I get to do it with you. And in a few days when we go home from this fairy tale, our lives will resume and everything and nothing will have changed and it's in these moments of doing everything and nothing together that I love the most. Amber, you are the most beautiful, smart, generous person, and these things have made you my world and my forever. I love you to the moon and back, and I can't wait to spend the rest of my life by your side. Love, Dylan. We only get to do this one life, and you only get, you and I get to do it this one life together as husband and wife. I promise to make the most of it with you. I love you more than words can say. Now let's do this dang thing. <laughs> I now pronounce you husband, wife. Dylan, don't wait. Kiss your bride. I know you can't stop my mind. Thinking about you, you know you've got my eyes 
There's something about you. I'm Amber's twin sister, and I can't begin to tell you how special it is to get to stand by her today and celebrate her and Dylan becoming husband and wife, finally. You know, Dylan had it pretty rough. He walked in on an already very much established relationship between Amber and I. Everyone who knows Amber and I knows how close we were and we still are. We've done everything together from school to sports and now even multiple jobs. No one will ever know what it's like to share everything in their lives like we have. And I mean everything. Like imagine going through most of your life having never said I because I was always just we. And for 18 years it was that way. Now fast forward to 2012, the year that Dylan changed all of that. <laughs> Over 11 years later, you two have gone through so many phases of life together already. You've gone through your ups and downs, school, jobs, homeownership, and raising your fur baby. You've made so many me memories, and I'm so excited for you to make many, many more. So now let's toast to an amazing couple, finally making it official, and their future as Mr. and Mrs. <laughs> Um, I've had the honor of being friends with Dylan since elementary school. I was there when you asked Amber to prom, and I'm considering that the beginning of you guys starting dating, as has been mentioned many times 11 years ago. And so I've quite literally had a front row seat to your guys' relationship. I have gotten to watch you guys grow as adults, and I've gotten to watch you guys grow as a couple by being there week in and week out. I've gotten to be the lucky one who was with you guys at your engagement, and I've gotten to be up here and stand next to you guys tonight. So thank you for every moment we've shared to this point, and we're going to have so many more to come. And Amber, you're not getting rid of me. Um, you're just going to have to learn to live with it. And so guys, congratulations on all the years you've spent together and the many, many, many years that you have come. You guys are beautiful. Here's to Dylan and Amber. I don't have a drink on me, but cheers.